Hi, this is attorney Mike Grevel coming to you from Chicago as usual. And today we've got a fun one. We haven't done this for a while. It's a sovereign citizen traffic fail. We're going to call this sovereign citizen traffic fail number 30. Let's do it. From the secret headquarters of the sovereign citizen patrol, initiating video production sequence. We are no longer playing. So let's get revved up. It's time for Law Talk with Mike. This video was sent to me by a viewer. I just wanted to say thank you for that. And uh, the source video was from a channel called Runray, which is fun. And in fact, even the video that I took this from has several more clips in it, and, and it's pretty good stuff. He <laughs> came up, he talked to me for a little bit, asked me if this was a, a race event. I said, nah, thought I'm up for Fort Wayne. I'm on my private conveyance, coming from Kokomo back to Fort Wayne. He asked me for my license. Man's just trying to go to Fort Wayne in his private conveyance. What could go wrong? His registration, I told him that <clears throat> I was a private man on my private conveyance and that I had identification to show him that I'm a private man on my private conveyance. Now, if he was to read my place, which I'm pretty sure he is, then he will find that this car is inside of my trust, my you buy. Unincorporated business organization trust. And not inside the state's trust. So we will see. Now look. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> As if it's in doubt how this is going to go down. <laughs> Hi, this is Ali with the Sovereign Citizen Patrol, and thanks to all your generous support, I'm getting belly scratches. So please remember to hit like and subscribe so I get some more. Hopefully they're not supposed to be able to do nothing to me, man. They're supposed to let me go simply because I'm stating my status on position. I'm going to go ahead and... You don't have a driver's license to drive the vehicle. I, I can't find. Yeah, I don't. I, I don't. I don't drive. I travel. I'm not driving. What so. are you doing? What do you, you? You don't drive. What do you mean you don't drive? I'm. I'm, I'm traveling. I'm traveling. Yes, sir. Well, you have to have an Indiana driver's license to travel. You only no, no, look. I'm not going to argue with you. I'm, I'm going to cite you for never receiving the driver's license. I'm going to tell you here. Well, this vehicle belongs to the trust. My trust. Well, that may be your trust, but I'm going to tow the vehicle because you don't have a driver's <laughs> license to drive. Now, once get do you are you uh your team? Do you have a sergeant or a lieutenant? No, I got a captain here, and I can got I talk a to patrolman the, too. Can I talk to the captain? I mean, an assist, assistant chief here. Can I talk to the? Oh, he'll tell you the same thing I'm telling you. Can I talk to the captain? You want to talk to him? Yes, sir. Uh, that that's kind of fun. Yeah, you, you know, sometimes they have them along, but usually usually they have to call and wait. And he's like, well, I've got the assistant chief here. <laughs> Which is nice, because you know it's not going anywhere, but just make it a little faster. Which one is he? The one coming up beside me here. All right. Hey, how you doing, Captain? Good. Um, I explained to uh, the chief here that I was traveling on my private conveyance. Now, I showed him my identification and my status right there, that car right there. Uh, I didn't see him show him anything, but maybe he did. Maybe I missed it. But uh, th th this is this is funny. Just the the level, the sort of importance he tries to put on this nonsense. And I told him that this car is um is it belongs to a trust, and uh -huh. it cannot be told. It should not be told. But oh, contraire, I believe it can be told. If he or you guys, you know, want to do business with me, you know. I, I, I don't consent to doing business. And I I just love for a, a police officer to step in here and say, no, no we don't want to do business with you. We're, we're just issuing a citation. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think you understand what the term uh, doing business means. And I don't consent to being told. And if there is a toll, then there could be, you know, civil. That's, that, that, that's you have the right to do that, but it's going to be towed. Okay, but what, what I'm, and, what I'm and saying is... And you're going to get a citation for not, a, not having a valid Indiana operator. 
You understand? The, you have the, to have a driver's license to operate a vehicle in the state of Indiana. Right, but I'm not operating this vehicle. I'm You're traveling. Vehicle. I'm traveling. You I have a right call to travel. Whatever you want. Next now, now, if you says you're operating now, the vehicle. now, if you guys are going to force me to do business with you, if you guys are going to force me to show you my, uh, would you say, quote unquote, driver's license? Yes, they want to force you to show them your driver's license. Yeah, that that was that that was implicit in the very first question. Oh. and the paperwork for this car that belongs to a trust. If you're going to force me to do that, then under the rest, I'll do that. If you got a driver's license, I would suggest you to produce it right now, dude, and it won't get towed. Well, I mean, that's what I'm that's what I'm telling you. But what I'm saying is, it, it, I'm, this is under duress and force, so I'm going to do that under duress. I'm As usual, it's always under duress. I'm going to show you my uh, uh, registration. You got your Indiana. I'm going to show license. you my Indiana driver's license. I'm going to show you all those good okay. things right there okay. under threats, threatening duress. I if, mean, if you, if you got an Indiana driver's license, dude, we won't tow your car. Okay. That's why I'm saying that's what's good for you to produce that. And I understand whether you want to show it under duress or not. You're just, you understand where we're coming yeah, from. Yeah, I, You're I required by the state of Indiana to have right, a license. Right, but I'm not, I'm, I'm not subject to those statutes, but I mean, I just, I, I fully. <laughs> did he just say statutes? Because <laughs> I think he did. Oh, no man. Way, what you're saying. Okay. But I, I did want you to know that I was invoking my right to travel. But since that is being violated and under duress, I will submit those uh, that ID to you and the other required documents. Okay, Mr. That's All right. the best thing you did right now, okay? That's Let cool. me go back and give you, Matt, and then we get at least stop the tow truck from coming to in your car. All okay? right. Yep. Sit tight a minute. <laughs> He went through all that just to fold immediately. Wow, well there you have it. Uh, honestly, one of the dumbest stops of all time, and that's saying something if you go through my catalog. Uh, the, the reason for that is he just wants to try it out, but he, he is sitting on the driver's license. He, he has it. And and so that tells you two things. He's a chicken. He, he, he knows he has that to go to, number one. And number two, he doesn't believe himself. He doesn't believe that he doesn't need a driver's license or he wouldn't get one. So, yeah, I mean, it's obvious, but uh, still always a good time. Here at Law Talk, we like to have fun with uh, silly stuff that happens in court. And every once in a while, and completely by accident, I assure you, you might learn something. Thanks for watching.